Hey guys, today we are going to be learning about recycle. Now we're still learning about the earth, but recycle is something that we could do to protect our earth. Another thing we'll be doing today is science art. We're going to do a recycle art activity. For movement, we're going to do number rock. And for the song, we are singing My School Family. Are you ready to have some fun? Let's go. Hi boys and Hi boys and girls, today we're going to learn about recycle. Now recycle means it's when you instead of throwing things away, you might be able to use it for something else. Now for example, let me show you something that I did here. The container for our Play-Doh. Now the Play-Doh in here was dry. I threw it away. I cannot recycle Play-Doh. But the container I can. I could use it for something else. Watch this. I decorated the container with construction paper and with stars. I put tape on the back so it won't slide off and I'm using it for a crayon holder. Do you like it? I could put pencils, I could put toys, but look at this, I'm recycling. Instead of throwing it away, I used it for something else. Now the lid, I'm gonna put it at the bottom so it could be a container holder. Do you like it? I love it. Let me show you something else that I recycled. My water bottle. Watch what I did with it. It's always empty, but I kept my lid. Watch this. I turned it into a sensory toy. Now what I did was I put water in here, I put a food coloring, and I put some beads. Now hold on, let me make sure that it's lit, the lid is on. I don't want it to spill all over me. Now watch this. I want you to see. Do you see the beads in there? Yes! You could put glitter. You can be creative. And mom and dad could help you. But I recycled. Instead of throwing it away, I used it for something else. And look at this. The Play-Doh. I decorated it to be a crayon holder. Boys and girls, you could do this at home too. Instead of throwing things away, think about it first and go, oh, maybe I could use it for something else. Right? Be creative, guys. Let's recycle together, okay? I hope you had a great time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Today's story is about recycling. The title of the book is Recycle Every Day. So this book is going to teach us about how to recycle so we could save our earth, so we could keep it clean. So let's see what they teach us, okay? Too much trash. We make trash every day. Where does it all go? Most of it is burned. A lot of it is put in a landfill. Now, boys and girls, this is here, right here. This is all trash. But it's a landfill. This is where all the trash goes. And then they put it in there. The trash that you throw away goes into a landfill. A landfill is a big hole in the ground. Trash is dumped in. Then dirt gets put on top. Oh, so it's a big hole in the ground. They put the trash in that hole and then they cover it up with dirt. Okay, so that's a landfill. Recycle. Trash is bad for the earth. We can make less of it. One way is recycling. Recycling helps keep trash out of landfills. There are many things we can recycle. There are many things we could recycle. They're gonna show us. I, I see here plastic, paper. Oh, so you could put them in these bins instead of putting it all together. Let's see. Recycle all for new. Cans, jars, bottles, and paper can all be recycled. Do not put them in the trash. Sort them in bins. These items can be made into new things. All bottles can be made into new ones. Oh, so they want you to separate, like sorting. Yes, it says it right here, sort them in bins. So you sort, you put glass here, paper, plastic. Oh, and maybe, and they said that you could, old bottles can be made into new ones. So they could put these old ones into new ones. I want to see how they do that. How recycling works. 
A truck takes all plastic bottles to a recycling center. The bottles get cut into pieces. Then they are melted and turned into new plastic. Oh, boys and girls, look, right here shows you. So these are all plastic and paper. Then from old, oh, I see this from bottle. He drinks it, he'll recycle it, goes in the trash, into the, to a recycling center where they're gonna make new bottles. Ah, you see the cycle here? See the arrows, how it goes. Awesome, then it is used to make new things. That is awesome, boys and girls. So remember, recycle, okay? Recycle food. You can even recycle food trash. I didn't know that. Save food you do not eat. Use it to start a compost pile. Oh, so I wonder what they do with that old food. It looks yucky, right? But let's see, it helps something. The compost pile will break down. Then you can add it to your plants. It becomes food for your garden. Plants use it to grow. That's a great idea. So all food you save, but you need a special container for that. And then you can put it for your plants and that will help them grow. Good to know. Reuse it. Another way to make less trash is to reuse. This means using items more than one time. Pack your lunch in a reusable bag or box. You can use it again and again. Now, boys and girls, look at this picture right here. You see how they have here a container that you could carry a sandwich? This could be used over and over. But if you put in a plastic bag, mom will have to, or a Ziploc bag, mom will have to throw away the bag and get a new one and do it like that and then creates more trash. But if mom or dad have a container like this, like for your sandwich or your salad or your chicken nuggets, you could use it over and over because you're washing it and then you're using it over. That's a great idea. I think I'm going to start that with my lunch. Save paper. Trees are cut down to make paper. You can reuse paper. Write on both sides. Reuse it if you only use half. This helps save trees. Paper comes from trees. So for us to save a tree, when somebody gives you a paper and you want to draw, use both sides to draw. Okay, so we don't waste paper and then they don't have to cut trees down all the time. Let's do it. Reuse newspaper. Save the Sunday comics, wrap a gift with them. This will save wrapping paper. So, newspaper. So you can have newspaper and you could use it as wrapping paper or you could use newspaper for many other things. Maybe cutting? Yes, cutting strips and doing art. I like that. Fun ways to recycle. You can recycle and reuse many things. Save a jar, make it into a bank, or use it for small plants. See this, these jars here? They didn't throw them away. They planted new plants in it. Look at that. That is great. Save a soup can, make it into a pencil holder. You can draw on a piece of paper, then glue the paper to the can and decorate it. That is cool. You could do so many things with, with things that you're going to throw away and you could reuse them. Other places to recycle. You can recycle and reuse many things. Carry items home from the store in a tote bag. This is a tote bag, boys and girls. Reuse it each time you shop. This will save paper or plastic bags. Where else can you recycle and reuse? Where else? This will save paper and plastic bags. Boys and girls, you could do so many things by recycling. So think of all the things that you have at home that you could recycle and make new things, right? Think about that. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Now remember, today we're talking about recycle. Now we collected some things in the classroom that we could recycle to do our science art activity. Okay, now here are the items that we need. You need your paper, you need the toothbrush, you need the little stick, you need your paintbrush, you need the pencil, you need the toilet paper roll that you have, and the, and the paint. But the paint, we have to mix it, okay? So if you could get something, ask mom and dad to mix your paint. These are the containers that we use. 
So if you ask mom to get you one that doesn't have anything inside of it, okay? Because and then we're going to need another one with some water because we have to mix it. Isn't that cool how we need water? See? We need water right now. Okay, so I'm going to put the paint carefully. If you want mom and dad to help you, please do so. Let's put it in the, in the little cup that you're going to use. I'm only going to use a little bit, guys. I'm not going to use a lot. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Hold on. There we go. Whoop. I don't want to spill anything. Put it to the side. Oh, I did spill it a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, I need to put my name on the paper before anything. Michelle. I'm going to put everything to the side. Now, I'm going to need to add some water in here. Now, when you add the water, you have to do it carefully, okay? Not a lot of water. If you put too much water, it's not going to come out. The paint's not going to come out so cool. It's going to be too watery, and we don't want that. So we get our paintbrush, and we mix it. Don't mix it too hard. If you mix it really hard, it's going to splash all over your yourself all over the table and we don't want that and then you'll have to clean your own mess you know that right oh look at that it's coming out and this is orange okay now oh this is gonna be cool let me fix my paper oh maybe i should just oh oh it made it worse but that's okay now i could do this now I'm going to be using my recycled items for this art activity. Now, this is really cool. I've never done this before, so this is my first time. So we can work together. So I'm going to do, let me see, with this here, with the toilet paper roll, I think I could do this. I think I'll paint it. Oh, I forgot to clean the brush. Oh, guys, we can't forget that. Clean the brush. Paint the toilet paper roll. Whoop! And maybe I could roll it on my paper. Let me see. Roll, 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 roll. We're rolling it. Okay, so this is what I did with the toilet paper roll. So I rolled it. Looks really good. Now, I want to use the brush. Well, the toothbrush. Are you ready? Uh-oh, let me just see here. Let me see. Uh-oh. I dip it in, and I'm going to paint. Let me see if I can make a circle. So these are recycled items that I found here in the classroom. You can find some at home and maybe do some things, but first ask mom and dad, okay? Don't just do it. Now, okay, with this one, with this little stick, wonder what I could do. Maybe dip it in there. Wait, hold on. And make little dots. <gasps> Look at this, guys. It looks good. I love it. So guys, you create whatever you want with these recycled items. Then have mom and dad take a picture of it and put it on Schoology, okay? Have fun with this activity. Bye. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to review the number 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now, as you can see at the door, I mixed up some numbers. And we're going to put them together. So for example, let's say number 11. What two numbers do I need for 11? I need the number 1. And I'm going to put it up here. And I need another one. And that makes the number 11. Now let's do number 12. I'm going to need one. It's the first number. And then the number two. Uh oh, two, two. Oh, there it is. And two. That makes number 12. After 12 comes 13. Very good. So I'll need the number one. 13 and number three, three, three right here. Number three. So now we have 11, 12, 13. What comes up to 13? 14. We need another one. And the number four, four, where, oh, four is right here. We got the number four and it makes 14. So let's say them, 11, 12, 13, 14. We put them together. Now let's see if Miss Amato could do it. Let me put them back. Hold on, let me mix them up. Ooh, let's see if she could do it. She better be practicing at home. Hold on. Okay, here we go, you ready? I'm gonna call her now. Miss Amato? Yes, Miss Figueroa. Miss
Lisa Maru, can you please come here? Sure. I want to see if you could put these numbers together. Okay, I'm going to step out for a minute. Ooh. Now, go in there, Ms. Amato. There, all those numbers are mixed up. We're reviewing the number 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Do you think you could put them together? I think I can. Now, can you start with number 11, please? Sure, let's see here. Let's okay. see if she knows. All right, a one is the first number, and another one. And that makes number? 11. Okay, now Next. go to 12. 12, 12, 12, okay. 12. I need, um... Now remember, I'm not telling her. A two. Uh oh, I see a mistake there, boys and, and girls. Uh, Miss Amato, let's look at that again. Hmm. That number's number 21. We need the number oh, 12. Oh, I see what I did. The one has to go first. Yes. That's right. I got it. Now. Good job, good job. 12. Okay, what comes after 12? 13. 13. Good. Good job. One. Good. Three. 13. Good. Now, and what comes after 13? 14. Go for it. One. Good job, Miss Amato. Yay. Count them. 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job, Miss Amato. Woo. Boys and girls, this was a fun game. See if you could play this at home with mom and dad. See if they know how to put together number 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Today, for music, we're going to sing My School Family. Are you ready? Get yourself ready. Get mom and dad ready. Miss Amato, can you start it for yeah, us? Let's go. We are ready. Stand up, boys and girls. You can't do this sitting down, okay? such a good time today talking about recycling. We learned that we could recycle so many things. In the classroom, we recycled the Play-Doh container and I turned it into a crayon holder. I recycled my water bottle and turned it into a sensory bottle um, toy. We also read a book about recycle every day. It taught us there that we could recycle almost anything. Let's say we could recycle a water bottle and when they recycle it, they could turn into a new water bottle. Remember, we could recycle also paper. When you are drawing, use both sides because then we have to cut more trees down to make paper. So those are some good things to know. And for our art activity, we use some recycling items to do our art. We use toilet paper roll, we used a toothbrush, and a little stick that had a little that you can make dots with, and we painted with that. I hope you had a good time with that. And for our song, we did My School Family. 
Boys and girls, I just want to tell you we're still a school family. Even though we're not in the classroom and we're doing e-learning, we're still a school family and we always wish you well. Okay? See you later. Bye.